Okay, it says I'm gonna start with what you need uh, to make churros, to prepare churros, so all essentials. Before we start, my kitty cat sleeping. Oreo, Oreo, you sleeping or are you pretending? It's hot today. It's hot. Okay, I'll leave you to sleep. So, we'll need a scale, just a regular scale. I will show you everything in grams and in cups. So, it's more American, but um, if you do have it, it's easier to measure quicker, I would say. Cup and half of a cup and one fourth of a cup. So, I'm gonna show you in both. You will need a little glass container to toss your churros in uh, sugar and cinnamon. You will need just regular mixer, if you've got regular that will do. If you have a mixer with a dough part, use that because the dough part will make your dough better obviously for churros. Uh, we also have, we need one of those piping bags. So I'm using icing bags uh, from Lakeland. Um, so we're using one of those. They look like this basically. And we're gonna fill the dough, fill it in with the dough and then we're gonna cut at the end. We also need some scissors to cut our churros when we, uh, we'll, when we piping them to the pan with the hot oil. We're gonna need some scissors to cut them uh, around the same sizes. We need scale or measurement cup or whatever you prefer. And also when we're piping them, we'll need one of those. So that will give uh, our churros nice shape. So I've got in here two. I'm usually using this one, it's 1M from Wilton. Uh, so I will show you both how they look like so you can decide for yourself, but that basically is gonna give you that nice shape of churros. Uh, so this one, oh, this one is 2ES. I will show you how they both look so you can compare for yourself. And then we just need one tea regular teaspoon to measure cinnamon. Uh, we need uh, scissors and then we'll also need uh, to measure your temperature. The temperature will be really high and it will be, will be deep frying churros. So there's two types of how to measure, two types of thermometer how to measure the temperature. And one of them is just to measure the meat, temperature in the meat in your steak. And that's a different one. This one is completely different. This one is a candy one. So you want a candy one because candy one measure the temperature go up to a higher temperature. You don't have that on a meat one. So this one goes to obviously for deep frying. Whereas in here, that's your deep frying there. And we're gonna uh, deep fry our churros in 360 as you can see in here. So your temperature has to get to that point uh, so they not raw. So I do recommend to get one of those if you want to get your churros without guessing the temperature, which is important. You don't want to eat your churros raw. Okay, that's all you need to know. We're gonna, let's get started now then. Okay, I nearly forgot, but if you want to be extra, extra fancy, you want to get one of those to fish out your churros out of deep fry oil. Very handy, very good, useful tool. I using it for churros or anything deep fry and even dumplings, so. Highly recommended. I got that one on Amazon, really good quality. Okay, we're gonna start with um, sugar coating. So we'll need so one fourth of cup of granulated sugar. We do not use powdered sugar. It's not gonna be the same. It's want, you want this nice and sweet uh, sugar coated. So that's what they use, granulated sugar, and that's what we're gonna be using. Granulated sugar, one fourth of a cup. I'm just gonna measure that in uh, grams for you guys. And we want one teaspoon of cinnamon. The best cinnamon you can get is this one. If you see that on your cinnamon, that means that's the best quality of the cinnamon you can get. And also, is the most premium from them all. So you do have some healthy benefits from using proper organic uh, cinnamon, premium one, and that's one of them. So highly recommend it. And that's the best one I could get. So we need one teaspoon of that. So we're gonna measure now, go ahead, and we've got a container where we can roll our um, churros after they're done. So we're just gonna prepare that and put it on the side. One fourth uh, of cup of sugar, which is around 43 grams of sugar. Next one teaspoon of sal and cinnamon. It smells incredible. Nothing to compare to normal cinnamon. It's more natural. Now, 
a cat still sleeping so we're gonna move on to making shoes around 350 milliliters of cold water to start with. and on a medium heat we're gonna pour our cold water into the pan okay we're supposed to um, simmer our water not boil if we boiled our water then uh, it's gonna evaporate obviously I'm gonna lose the water which we don't want to lose the liquid so we're just gonna simmer it simmer our water on a medium heat and add the rest of the ingredients straight to Next, the pan. we're going to add one fourth of a cup of granulated sugar straight to our water so it's about 37 grams Next stop you want to add some salt you can use natural rock salt pinch of it or Himalayan one up to you and um, so this fine one and um, so I'm gonna add a pinch of that one and um, so yeah, you can use a table, regular table salt if you wanted to. I would say good pinch. Next stop, we're gonna add 30 grams of butter, room temperature, or slightly melted, up to you. You need salt. a wooden spoon to mix it all, because we're gonna add a flour in a second. In the meantime, we're gonna prepare two cups of plain flour. So I'm going to measure it in the grams in a second way as well. Around 267 grams of flour. Okay, you have to mix it really, really well and you will see you're going to have a dough, so I have to put my camera down our shoulder. You do have to keep mixing until you're gonna get a dough like this for a few minutes. So here we go, it's ready and we're gonna leave it to cool down for about 20 minutes I would okay. say. Next up we need some veggie oil, vegetable oil and we're gonna heat it up on the pan to 360. In the meantime we're gonna finish our dough for churro. Okay so um, our dough gonna be quite warm even after a few minutes and that's okay it will be quite warm um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna add eggs and, and then mix it first of all then we're gonna add some eggs it's gonna be more watery and then again after mixing it a bit uh, more it will come together like a nice dom churros dom in the meantime I'm gonna put my uh, paper in here just straight next to the pan so we've got a paper in here I'm gonna use one of those fill it with the dom while it's done and then I'm gonna um, put the churros in here line them up uh, we are gonna use this just to make sure our churros are the same size it will be easy for us to pick it up and throw it straight to the uh, hot pan the oil has to be right temperature but we're gonna only fry about six at a time so that will avoid um, churros to be burned and you can keep turning them uh, as you go frequently that's completely fine we're gonna fry them for about five minutes five six minutes so when making churros always make sure to put your eggs in a bowl first just so you can pick up any um, you know any bits which goes in just in case from the okay. show. This is a perfect um, dough for churros um, and just so you're aware it is very important what kind of egg you're gonna put in and um, in a the recipe there's two large eggs and you have to stick to it because it does influence the consistency of a dough of a perfect dough if I would say and so do not use a small egg it will make a difference there's two large eggs in the recipe and just stick to it because the consistency will be perfect if you use a smaller egg it will influence the consistency the dough if your dough will come out really thick and you're gonna put it inside here and try to squeeze it out it's gonna be very hard to squeeze it out and even gonna um, this can break and the uh, uh, dough will come out on the sides that means and you really really hard for you to push it through that means your consistency is wrong and it's too thick and it's not right so you have to make it again and stick to the recipe this is the consistency you want nice silky smooth
okay now we're gonna have uh, this for a doll we're gonna cut the end with the scissors and use one of those i'll show you of both how they're gonna turn out from both of them what's the differences so we're gonna fill that with the doll. how they look like um in the back make sure you push it the door all the way to the bottom so there's not much paper uh, uh, basically uh pockets and we're gonna uh, cut each one try to make them the same size and cut them with the scissors why we prepared them here everything and now I only need to reach the template for 360. So by the, the way the same dough use is used for class and other French delicious okay. treats. Now to compare I've got two different types and for you tips. 1M Walton is this one here so that's 1M hopefully you can see how those looks like and this one in here so this is all 1M those and those looks different obviously and this one end was a bit thicker I would say this one is it's also Wilton I think it was 2ES I think it was 2ES so a bit different as you can see I would recommend 1M I think remember to pipe your uh, churros straight away before your, you put the hoil on oil on otherwise your oil gonna burn and you won't have your churros and your stuff nice stuff. golden brown and your churros should be nice brown uh, golden and delicious color not uh, black because they're gonna be burnt your churros should rest on the paper to soak uh, to get rid of egg seed um, oil for about 15 seconds and then we're gonna straight in while warm and cover them in sugar and cinnamon a batch of churros which I made from this recipe except that I did have a few because they're so delicious I'm gonna be serving it with Nutella of course I hope you're gonna enjoy those churros they're delicious served with Nutella enjoy <laughs>